What is going on? I don't think y'all understand how excited I am to show y'all this. This is months and months and months worth of waiting and preparation and finally we have certain things on the truck that uh, are absolutely phenomenal. And we're gonna start at the front, we're gonna make our way to the back. I'm gonna show y'all, I'm not gonna demo one thing, but I'm gonna show y'all some stuff and uh, Let's get right through this. As y'all could probably already see by some of the things that I've posted, here is my grill. It is by DB Customs. I'll link their Instagram in the description. He absolutely killed it with this. Literally killed it. This thing is insane. I don't know if y'all can see this, but there's actually a gloss finish in the back then there's a mat and then the top is gloss uh, I don't know what you call this but there's some sort of like a, a grayish like flake paint back there and then this actually lights up in the inside and uh, I just I cannot believe how amazing this grill came out DB Customs says Chevy off-roading I got I got a switch in there I flip it it turns on it's actually pretty bright at night bright enough to where I don't know whether or not I can get a ticket driving with it down the road so I'm gonna run it until I do yeah yeah just hopefully I don't get a ticket or at least get stopped because a ticket or a, the grill leads to the wheels leads to the the this to the that to the this and then your trucks getting searched and then you just it just things always tend to compound you know especially with these trucks tent everything next up we have the road armor identity series bumpers these are a new line that they have uh, it's kind of a how do I explain it just like a factory ish styled bumper has some inserts very very modular as you can tell I don't have any lights in there right now this bumper actually holds two LED cubes right there a 20 inch light bar right here and then I'm gonna rock a 30 inch bar and then a pod on both sides and then two more cubes on the other side so in the front it's gonna have six cubes a 30 and a 20 inch light bar so there's gonna be plenty of light pumped out of this thing but this bumper right here actually is one of my favorite, uh, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It just, it just gives me that factory feel, you know, it kind of, it kind of follows body lines good. It just, I don't know, it's so hard to explain guys. Unless you see it in person, you really can't. This video is not going to do it justice. I really hope there's no wind noise in this too, by the way, guys. If there is, I'm sorry. Leave some hate comments down in the description. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. So coming up from the front, we have the grill and we have the road armor bumpers. Uh, let's go back to this real quick. I can't show you right now, but this little light right here actually is uh, sort of like an accent light and it... I have it set up for amber and then it runs on my blinker so everything's amber right now still so I have my mirrors my side markers and that and it ties in beautifully uh, the blink isn't perfect it's not synced up with everything it's a little off but I'm not too picky when it comes to those things the next thing that we have is the McGoy's traction bars so this is the first truck I've ever ran traction bars on. Uh, I was glad to finally get them installed. You know, hmm. I don't know how I feel about them. I'm not a big fan of traction bars. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of much going on underneath the truck. I'm more of a uh, minimalist when it comes to all of the stuff that drops down, you know, your ride height and your clearance underneath because, you know, I like to hunt and do a lot of things and the more stuff you have underneath, the more stuff that gets caught and broke and just other things. So I don't know how I feel about them yet. I like how they look so far and they serve a purpose. I like how they look, but I just, I don't know. They'll, they'll grow on me. I'm sure they will. 
And now we're moving to the complete rear of the vehicle. If y'all want more information on this uh, Jenny Guinea Gen Y, however you say it, hitch, uh, I will link the video above. But in the back, we have the Road Armor Identity Series rear bumper. This thing actually is pretty badass. I love the look of it. It's hugely solid. Like I can't even, I can't even explain. I, I didn't really go into this in the front bumper, but in the front and back, they have these uh, little mesh uh, cutouts that the lights uh, sit behind and shine through. And these are, I think they have four or five different options for this, different little mesh things. I went with the hex one because the grill has some hex in it and I just wanted to tie them together. And then inside the step, so they kept the factory-ish style uh, bumper step right here and then it has just this little like uh, step pad right inside of there. Hope y'all can see that, it's really bright outside. Got some road armor hooks in the front and the back. And then this, these, this uh, little spot right here is gonna be one of the uh, four by two cubes and takes one on both sides in the rear bumper. Not too much light coming out the back, but you don't always need um, a ton of light in the back unless you have people tailgating you and then you, you hit them with the train horn which is what we get to next. Don't you like that? So guys, what we have underneath here is the horn blasters, as you can tell. Horn blasters, Admiral 540. Again, this is the second Admiral 540 I've ran. I absolutely love this train horn. I love how it sounds. This time around, they uh, cut and bracketed up a plate up here they mounted everything to the plate and then mounted up uh, everything to the frame uh, last time ooh, whoa look at that Aggie gold oh my god Whew, that's another video but this is a five horn setup five gallon tank and I don't know exactly what compressor it has with it what does it say 400 C dual pack compressor from I don't know how to say that and I'm reading it upside down. Vier. I don't. I don't know. I don't know the name of that. I'm not into compressors, but here is the Admiral 540. If you want this train horn, it will be linked below as well. Uh, for the price, this is probably one of the loudest, best-sounding train horns you can get for under a thousand bucks. Like I said, this is the second one of this that I've ran on this truck, and I wouldn't have bought. A second of the exact same horn if I didn't honestly like it and I didn't love the sound and the quality and everything like that if I do ever get a third truck then I will probably be running the Admiral 540 a third time unless I decide to go full baller and get like a Nathan's air chime or something insane like that but guys this is how the truck is sitting right now just got, like I said, the front and rear bumpers, the grill, the traction bars, the train horn, a bunch of new stuff installed. We have more stuff coming. I am ordering, finally, I'm 100% ordering my shell. So the shell will be on its, or in production soon and then on its way. Mobile Toys, who makes undoubtedly the best subwoofer enclosures for almost any truck out there right now. Uh, Mobile Toys Incorporated, I'll put their Instagram up here. They, uh, they've they made me a box. They've just been waiting for my truck to uh, come to the shop and they're gonna install that. Guys, I cannot tell you how long it's been since I've had any sort of base or subwoofer in my truck. Since my silver truck, which I didn't really do any YouTube for and I completely regret that because it was years ago, way before people with trucks were even on YouTube, I thought about it and I didn't and I, uh, I don't like to say I have regrets, but I am kind of sick inside that I didn't start this channel way back in the day. But that truck was the last truck that I had any sort of subwoofers in, and they were, uh, what was it? it was just like some JLs and some, and like a ported Pro Box or something just underneath the back seat. But just wait, wait till y'all see this. Their stage four enclosures are absolutely beautiful. They're works of art. Um, they're very affordable. And uh, I think I've grown them like 11 or 12,000 followers on Instagram. So if y'all wanna be there and 
get one before all your buddies have one because everybody's buying them these days. I love, I love seeing people who follow my account, like their pictures and interact with them and actually buy their stuff. And then I'm like, hey, where'd you see that? Where'd you buy, like, where did you get a mobile, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, where did you, what prompted you to buy from mobile toys? And they're like, oh, I saw them on Instagram. And I'm not saying that's for me, but I'd have to say a few sales have correlated for me. But I'm gonna get off of that. God, dude, look at this, guys. Look at how that looks. Oh my. This is beautiful. Chevy off roading. Road Armor Identity Series. McGoy's 7 to 9. Nitto 37, 13 and a half inch tires. 20 inch wheel. American Force. Beadlock series Dune BL1s 20 by 10s negative 48 offset guys I have a hundred of these little bolts That I have to install I just got them today And I am so excited to finally get rid of all these little rust dots that are on my truck But I want y'all to understand this process right this is the process that I have to do I have to take my little Allen or whatever whatever I'm using to do this I got to pull this bolt out, I gotta clean it, I gotta add some anises to my new bolt, and I gotta sink it in, right? Maybe that takes a minute to do one, but I have 96 of these things across four wheels, you know, and if I take any sort of break, I have a feeling, I have a feeling that's gonna be a two and a half or three hour process if I'm doing a quality job and I'm cleaning out the holes and I'm just making sure everything's done right. So I'm not looking forward to that. It might be a fun time lapse, but I could literally time lapse that into a full 10 minute video of itself. And I don't think that y'all are wanting to watch me sit there and repeat the same process 96 times. But hey, I never know. I mean, if y'all if y'all want to see, if y'all want a video of me maybe just detailing one of them and then a time lapse, let me know in the comments below. guys. This is the update on the build right now. So much, so much is in store. First off, I wanna thank y'all for following me, whether it's on Snapchat or Instagram and coming to my YouTube channel and supporting me here, guys. I really appreciate it. I love this. I love creating content and making, just making videos. It's, it's kinda weird at first, but I absolutely love it, man. I love having a camera in my hand. I love filming and, and producing producing stuff and I'm trying to learn and I'm trying to get better at it and I'm trying to incorporate Really my whole life into these videos. That's why I did sort of a hunting video last time uh, I plan on incorporating some fishing videos some camping style videos more hunting videos and Things like that. So let me know if you want to watch the hunting video It should be up into the the corner up there. Let me know what y'all think about these bumpers Let me know if y'all think they're if they look good, if they don't look good, I mean, I have an I have a, a post on my Instagram, I'm sure by now, of how they look. Go on there, comment, comment below here. Tell me what you think. Um, I just I, I want some feedback, guys. I want to know what y'all, how y'all feel about these bumpers. Again, I hope that this wind noise isn't too bad. There's a, a little bit of wind buzzing in my ear, but I have a little fluff on there. Hopefully it. It works out guys but let's just take one more second and check out the truck and guys if you want a Chevy off-roading hat you can go to chevyoffroading.com and you can click the hat picture and it'll take you to branded bills right here they're the guys who are making my hat right now and we're doing sort of like a test run after I sell X amount of hats I'm actually gonna buy some keep them in stock and then I'll ship them out myself but I wanted to just do sort of a test and see how many hats sold so if you want a hat head over to chevyoffroading.com click the link in the description it's down there and then you click the picture and it'll redirect you to their website in order to buy a hat guys with that I am I'm almost out of here Get another good look at the truck. Man, that thing. Mm. I love it, guys. Again, I want to say thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We're at almost 3,800 subs. We're coming up on 4,000. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. 
you know a lot of my videos are reaching a lot more people now on YouTube it's really awesome YouTube's putting me out there like that and uh, I don't really have to send all my viewers from my other social media but if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button tell me what you think do you like the bumpers do you like the train horn do you like the traction bars do you like the grill I ah, do the grill mm. Mm, the grill's amazing guys but with that I'm out chevyoffroading.com subscribe thanks for watching